Welcome back to SnowRunner, guys, and in this video, we are going to be looking at a very interesting truck. Now, it might not look like much on the surface. However, this Chevy Kodiak is actually a collaborative project between Puppy Master and Max Mike 181 and if you would like to have more information about how you can potentially get your hands on this truck, um, I will leave a link in the description box down below to their Discord where you can find more information about it. Now, as you may already know, there are a lot more add-ons to this truck than the standard Kodiak. So let's go ahead and fire it up, take it into the garage, and see what all this thing actually comes with and also how it drives. Now, being as it is a collaborative effort between Max Mike and Puppy Master, you can expect Max Mike's tuning and Puppy Master's add-ons. Now, that is going to mean a lot of things. Now, our engines here are a Nav Global D12 T900 and a AZ12 1400 DTA. Now, both of these have a S plus powered weight rating. However, the AZ12 actually has an A durability rating, whereas the Nav Global has an A minus durability rating. So we're actually going to go with this one, even though the fuel consumption is slightly worse, but that's okay. We're not really worried about that right now. So we'll go ahead and go with the AZ12 and gearbox wise, we have balanced high range off road and crawler box HD. Now, Crawler Box HD, it's interesting. It doesn't really change much in terms of the ratings. It doesn't actually change anything at all, but I'm sure it will give us access to a whole bunch more gear ratios that will be very useful out in the field. So we're going to go ahead and equip that. Now, suspension-wise, we have Active, Stock, Stock HD, which is presumably for towing, Raised, and Raised HD, which is, again, going to be for towing as well as um, just cargo hauling in general. So I think we're probably going to go with Raised HD at the moment. And the tire list is huge, absolutely massive. So you have quite the assortment of highway tires ranging from 43 inches in size, 47, all the way up to 51. And in the all-terrain, again, we have 43, 47, and 51 in quite the variety, quite the variety indeed. Now, the off-road selections are where it gets interesting because, as you can tell by these, ooh, those are the ANK wheels. Those are actually really, really cool. Now, obviously, you'll recognize stuff from the cat vehicles in here, but I am personally very excited about the mud tires category because, as you can tell, we have the Tega tires, but we also have a large assortment of, of tires from things like the Yar, and we should have, let's see, are they in here? Oh, I'm really hoping they're in here. Oh, yep. The Monster Mud Tires by Quasi. You guys know these tires. You guys love these tires. These are probably some of the best tires that I've ever seen in terms of modded tires in this game. Now, they actually come in standard mud as well as studded, which the studded ones are going to be for those of you that are playing around with ice and snow, which again, really excited to see that we have those options in here. I'm going to go with, right now, I'm going to go with the 51-inch mud dualies because I think that really does a great job of kind of being an all-encompassing, all-purpose setup for using this truck in terms of hauling, but also using it in terms of off-roading. Now, oop, I did not mean to go out of there that quickly. So we have spare wheel options that range all over the truck. That's really cool, actually. I, I dig that. Now, normally, I would throw that right there, but I feel like that's going to kind of limit our departure angle a little bit. Not that I'd be worried about it, because look how far back that frame extends. But I'll tell you what, we'll not do any of these right now, but if we can fit some of them, we'll come back and do one later. Maybe maybe one on the side. Actually, can we do one on either side? Oh, that's great. You could do two on the sides. That's awesome. Tall front facing, or we could do uh, one of the tall front facing ones that goes down the actual side of the truck. I kind of dig that, but I actually like this one a little bit more. So that's going to be a personal taste thing. Now, standard four-wheel drive, and then here's where it gets interesting. So here's where we have our frame add-ons. You got the PC320 heavy crane, normal flatbed, service body, um, sideboard bed, fuel tank, uh, actually rear-mounted towing boom. That's very interesting. Saddle high, saddle low, and wait, there should be more to that. So let me explain something to you guys real quick. What just happened on screen previously with the certain add-ons not being there, 100% my bad, and it was totally down to me not having the IX3880 and the IX record turned on because those are basically the trigger for this particular truck to actually have those add-ons enabled. So with that figured out and out of the way, we're actually going to go into frame add-ons, and now our frame add-on list will be a lot bigger. So as you can see, we have the SEIX cargo box, which you guys will recognize for sure, which is actually looks really interesting on this truck. I'm actually kind of impressed by that. 
we have the ix dump truck body which is a very interesting one the ix long bed which is just weird and because the frame is way too long for that that's that with the atv platform and then we also have the rollback body which is one of the biggest ones we're going to be focusing on on this go around however we may have to have a slightly lower suspension in order to pull this off but let's see how that goes just to see i'm very curious to see what a kodiak tow truck ends up being like now i also want to know if we can actually legit like make the rollback extend to the ground with a suspension this high like let's see let's go ahead and put the flasher bar on it and we'll put mud flaps on it just to have them and let's go through the bumpers list because there are a lot oh dude you actually have an animated plow so you could legit also make like a kodiak snow plow that would be so freaking cool i love that i absolutely love that i'm digging some of these bumpers too that's a navistar bumper let's actually ooh, i dig that but like my only gripe with it is that it kind of blocks the headlights a little bit but other than that it's such a beefy looking winch bumper that i'm gonna go with it anyway actually so let's see miscellaneous not gonna mess around with that at the moment but i do want to go through some of these exhausts because some of them look really really good i'm actually digging the heat shielded exhaust and now we've got well we got one wheel option and colors wise it actually looks really really good in red but I'm going to see how it looks in some of these other colors. And I really do dig the orange. I actually dig the white as well. Like, they all look really, really good. Let's see. And that yellow looks like an actual, like, proper vibrant yellow, like yellow should look. Let's go ahead and go with the um, the black with the white. Or actually, it would be white with black accents. And we're going to throw that on the truck. And now, we're not going to spend too much time in the interior customization. We're going to throw beans on the dash, as you guys always know. And we're also going to throw some dice right there. And let's see... We'll throw a wolf on the dash because why not? We'll throw a... Yeah, we might as well throw the eagle on the dash as well. And let's see. I'm not really going to throw many interior... Sorry, exterior stickers on this truck. But I think I am going to go ahead and pop a... Eh, we'll pop a saber tooth right there on the hood. And now we can go ahead and leave the garage and have a look at our newly finished Kodiak tow truck. Which we don't really know if it's going to work or not yet at this ride height. But I am definitely down to try and find out. So let's see. First things first, we are going to actually extend that. Well, actually, no, you know what? We're not going to do it in here. Instead of doing the test in here, we're going to actually take it for a quick drive and then just see what, what this thing would be like if we actually had to do a proper, like, recovery scenario in a muddy situation. Now, we're going to drive down to the mud, and then I'm going to use the powers of dev tools to put a car in the mud. And then once we got that car positioned where we want it, well, car, truck, vehicle, probably a truck, because that way um, it'll be able to make it up a sharper angle. I don't really want to mess around with something that's got super low approach angle. Although, if I have something that I think would work, I may still mess around with it. Now, the Crawler Box HD actually does work pretty well. It kind of drives like the IX Wrecker in some ways, which I think is actually a really good compliment because the ix record drives great in my eyes so let's go ahead and pull up right here and let's just imagine for a second that someone had a little bit too much of an adventure going into that mud and let's see what should it be i'm very uh i'm very curious here as to what it should be i'm thinking about it and it might end up being a well Ooh, it might end up being the IX5. Well, the only thing is the IX5, we all know, could make it out. So it's not like the IX5 would be something accurate. But at the same time, eh, you know what? We could say the IX5 maybe blew its engine or something. And we'll paint it red and we'll leave it in stock trim. Although it looks a little, uh, actually, it looks different with that updated paint job for sure. So now let's go ahead and swap back into the Kodiak tow truck. Fire it up and see if we can perform a bit of a rescue in lifted trim on that IX-5. Let's back it up real quick. Good looking red Jeep, actually. Whoa. Now, this is probably going to be a little bit iffy, but rollback controls. Will it go down far enough? That, honestly, is the biggest question in my mind, and it looks like it actually will. It's going to be a sharp angle, but it does go down far enough. Surprisingly enough, actually. All right, we're going to swap over to the IX-5 now. And we're going to fire it up. And let's see if we go back into... Well, let's see if we can ease it up onto the, onto the rollback body. Oh, God. All it wants to do is push off the edge of the rollback. 
There you go. Kind of need lockers to make that work correctly, but actually, hold on. If we want to do this accurately, we need to do it from in the tow truck with the winch. Because we've got a winch there for a reason. And if we want to be accurate with this, we got to be accurate with it. All right. So come with me. There you go. That works. Oh, come on. Dude, don't do it. There you go. I had to encourage it to drive forward a little bit. All right. Now it's suspended there. And I'm going to use the rope. No, not to go that way. Definitely not to go that way. That is not the way we want to go. But you can tell the heavy duty suspension is actually doing its job really, really well. Keeping that, um, keeping that front end in check. All right. So now let's see if we can pack the truck. Actually, you bet we can. So a much more successful rescue attempt than I thought that would be. Actually, a lot more successful of a rescue attempt than I thought that would be. I thought that was going to be not only tedious, but I thought it was going to be a little iffy due to how high this truck sits. But actually, did a really good job there. And I mean, who doesn't love a Kodiak tow truck? That's so dang cool. Honestly, that is one of the coolest crossovers ever. And still, in my mind, Max Mike and Puppy, and Puppy Master, still one of the coolest crossovers ever. So we're going to go ahead and unpack that truck now. And we're going to go and go into our create menu and delete the iX5. And then we are going to actually probably go ahead and delete the Kodiak as well. And we're going to use that Azov as sort of a kind of a quick way back to the garage. And I'm going to go ahead and find that Kodiak again, which is right here. I'm going to go ahead and add it in. And we're going to make a quick stop by the garage to build one more variant that I was very, very, very interested in. Like, super interested in. So we're going to go to stock HD this time. And we're going to do a small size in, again, with the, um, the special mud tires. But probably in like a 43 or a 47, nothing too big because I wanted to have good capability, but at the same time, there's the quasi mud tires. We're going to go with the, probably the 43 inch duels. There we go. 43 inch mud duels and autonomous HD. We're not going to worry about the spare wheels this time, but what we are going to throw on the back of the truck is the dump body. The dump truck body is probably one of the, one of the coolest things about this build aside from obviously the rollback so i'm gonna go into the front bumper and i'm gonna probably put a let's see that blocks the headlights i like oh oh we could totally make like we could totally make like legit assault truck oh that'd be freaking awesome that'd be so cool i'm gonna throw the plow in the front just to try it like legit just to try it and we're not gonna mess around with any other bumpers because if we do that we'll wind up in well We'll wind up in some iffy situations. Did that? Oh, it removed it. No, why you do this? Oh, I see. So that exhaust clashes with the uh, the dump truck body. That's fine. That's fine. As long as we know that, you know what I mean? So long as we know that, we'll be okay. Now, I am actually digging that in yellow, but I think it would look really good in almost like... Oh, that's so classic. That's so freaking classic. I love it in all of these colors. I really, really do. I think it looks awesome. I'm going to go with the orange this time. And this time, we're not going to really spend too much time in here. We're going to just throw beans on the dash and see what this build looks like. And that, that literally looks like something you could see going up and down like snowy, icy roads clearing the way for everybody. And by the way, on the chance that you've never seen this plow before, legit, it works. It goes up and down. And you could adjust the freaking angle of it through a bunch of predetermined angles. That is absolutely wild. Like, oh my god. So cool. So freaking cool. I absolutely love that. I absolutely love that thing. Now, if you're going down some trails, obviously it's going to be a little sketchy. But this thing can actually hold two units of cargo, though. Let's see if we can find anything that looks really good in the back of a dump truck. Just trying to see. Like, there are some modded loads that would look really, really cool. But I want to see if any of the default ones kind of, you know, look a little bit better than some of these. Not quite. I mean, you can throw, like, any of the default loads in there, like, once again. But 
I do think, like, legit rocks would be wild in the back of that thing. Absolutely wild. Now, like I said before, if you guys would like more info on this truck and how you might be able to get your hands on it, um, there will be a link to that in the description box down below. And if you enjoyed this overview and this video of this very cool mod build, then let me know all your thoughts in the comments. Leave any thoughts, opinions, or questions down there. And if you also would like to see more videos like this one, hit that subscribe button and turn those notifications on, and I'll see you guys in the next one.